Hi, Jeremy Morgan here. At some point in your career, you're going to have to parse a text file or two. I've done it countless times in my career. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to read a file line by line with Go. It's super easy, incredibly fast, and it doesn't take much code. Also, we're going to do this with a standard library, so there's no third-party downloads or anything like that. Let's learn some Go. If I can do it, you can do it too. Okay, so I've created a new file here named textviewer.go. Now I'm on a Linux system, but this will work the same for Windows or a Mac. First, let's take a look at our file. This is my customer list. It's a CSV file that's full of data. We're going to read out each of these lines and display them. The first thing we'll do is import our packages. We're going to use the OS package to open the file. Then we'll use Buff.io to create a buffered reader to read in the data. Then we'll use FMT to print it out. First, we'll use os.open to open up our customer list.csv. You simply put the file name you want to open into the first parameter here. We'll do some error checking and panic the application if we have a problem. Next, we'll create a Buff.io scanner. This is a buffer that we can read the data into. Now we have the file loaded into a buffer and we need to read that data. We do that by calling scanner.scan with a for loop. And the scanner will iterate line by line through the file. Then we'll create a variable name line to be populated with the string data from that line. Then we'll use fmt.println to print it out. So let's run it. And we run it and it looks just like our cat did earlier. Each line is printed out. In fact, let's prove it. Let's create a counter here. Then we'll change this to a printf because we're going to do some formatting. And we'll add line number represented by %d, then %s for string, and we'll add in our counter and line. And then we'll increment the counter. So let's see what this looks like. Now our lines are numbered. Notice there are one number off, because apparently our index here started with zero. So let's take this a step further. Let's extract some of this data from these lines and display them in a friendlier format. So our Buff.io scanner splits the lines for us, but we have a string separated by commas. Let's break out the data between the commas and format it. We just want the names and email addresses of each customer. First, I'll create a new slice named items and we'll use string.split to split them. Now in string.split, we insert line as our first parameter. This is the string we want to split. Then we add the separator, which in our case is a comma. Then I'll do a printf string here. We'll add the name and two string placeholders, then email with a string placeholder there. Then we'll add items one, two, and three, which are the sections of our CSV where the first name, last name, and email address are. And I'll put a little separator in here. We'll add in the strings package since we're using that to split the string. Now let's run it. Now we're able to see the data formatted better. This is an easy way to parse CSV or other text files and extract information. So to recap, we're using os.open to open our text file, which in our case is a CSV. Then we check for errors. Then we open up a Buff.io scanner to create a buffered reader and read the text file into memory. Then we loop through the file line by line using scanner.scan. In each loop, we read scanner.text into a line. Then we use a strings package and call strings.split to split up the line by commas. Then we print out the information we'd like in a nice friendly output. And that's all there is to it. You can certainly get more granular here once you start digging into it. I highly recommend reading through the Go documentation for these packages. So in this video, we learned how to read a text file with Go. And it was simple and easy, right? If you like this video and you want to see more, please subscribe. I'll be doing a ton of Go stuff in the coming weeks. Thanks for watching.